All right, guys, we are back. You're listening to K Talk Radio, 1640 AM. This is the show, Utah Home Sweet Home. I'm your host, Yoshi Shiraki. Our very special guest is John Schaefer. John, thank you so much again for joining me today. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right, so let's dive into some tips for success first, and then tips on keeping your mindset strong. And I don't know if there's... I, I once watched a uh, documentary, I think it was on HBO, years ago. I was still living in New York City at the time, and, and it was on... Um, people who had gotten clean and they had credited, and this rang a bell when you just talked about your um, bike ride, and they had credited part of their ability to stay clean was they got involved in physical fitness type activities, running, cycling, um, I don't know if CrossFit was back then, but like aerobic stuff, and they said that um, by getting this energy out, it was a huge way to help them forget about what they always wanted to do instead. Is that is that accurate? Yeah. When when I when I first got clean, I didn't you I, I wasn't that active. Okay. Um, but now, I it's very clear to me, and I consciously use exercise mm -hmm. to manage um, stress, feelings, all that. Yeah. And um, so I I think that's great. Uh, when I got clean, I just you know. I, I wasn't I actually I, I would do I would lift weights and stuff okay but that's not the same like as going for you know a two three hour mountain bike ride right like I am very aware of the good chemicals yeah that exercise releases especially mountain biking and skiing and high high level cardio activity skiing not skiing not so much but big mountain bike rides are really good for me um, they let me work stuff out of my head, like your sub, you kind of get in that zone and your subconscious starts working and you aren't yeah. really thinking, but like stuff's happening in your subconscious. Right. And also time in nature. So for me, it's a combination of the exercise and the time outdoors in the mountains or the desert or whatever. Um, I said earlier that I'm pretty much an atheist. Yeah. That said, I feel closest to God for lack of a better way to put it, yeah. when I'm outdoors Got in the it. mountains or, you know, feeling small. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's good for that's good for me. Right. Um Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay, before we part ways, in case you have a dog or know someone else who does have a dog, I wanted to take a quick second to show you the snap leash. The snap leash can literally do so many things. And I'm going to share with you one of the many cool things that it can do. As you can see, the snap leash is designed with two swivel hooks, one on each end. This end has a cushion stitched into it to make it comfortable when walking your dog. Now, all you have to do is take this swivel hook, put it into this very first grommet, and now you've got your handle. Okay, so now, let's imagine you're at the park and you want to secure your pet quickly, safely, and easily to a park bench, a tree, or a pole because you just want to sit down and relax. Well. All you need to do is take this swivel hook, remove it from the very first grommet, wrap this leash around any size tree or pole or park bench, and put it into the appropriate grommet, and now you have secured your pet quickly, safely, and easily. And when it's time to head home, another great feature about the snap leash is you can simply wrap it around your waist for hands-free walking. Lastly, if you ever accidentally forget your waist bags at home, these grommets make a great place to fasten the waist bag so you never leave home without them. And if you want to see all of the other cool things that the snap leash can do, then please just click on the link below and find out why so many others are falling in love with the snap leash.